On this Veterans Day, we remember the men and women who helped protect our way of life. One generation of that story, the veterans of World War II, is quickly fading away. Tonight, Joe LaFergie sits down with a surviving member of the greatest generation whose story provides an amazing glimpse into history, Joe. Yeah, Brian, who most of uh, West Michigan knows, Ralph Howenstein is a longtime businessman and philanthropist, but his role as a military intelligence officer during World War II probably changed the course of history. Started off with the first contingent going over. At age 102, the body is slowed, but the mind is clear. Met a lot of wonderful people. The wonderful people and took care of a lot of bad people. <laughs> like many Americans, Ralph Hollenstein could feel the breeze as the winds of war gathered in Europe in the mid 1930s. He joined the Army, and as a young Army intelligence officer assigned to Iceland in 1941, he was tasked with the job of searching a German plane shot down over that country. Hollenstein turned up a code book. That find provided the missing piece to an intelligent puzzle sought by ULTRA, the eventual code name for high-level code-breaking efforts by the Allies. It was the solutions to all we could solve. We, we really knew through ULTRA virtually all the activities that were enemy was carrying on. We knew it at the same time they knew it. The adventure continued. Hansen was among the first Americans to reach Paris after the Nazi pullout. He remembers an early briefing on the Manhattan Project from a nervous officer sent from Washington. We got a big problem, though. He said, you know, it's a, he said, it's a chain reaction. And he said, we don't know when the darn thing will stop. <laughs> but the event that stands out most in his mind, the liberation of Dachau, the Nazi concentration camp in 1945. The type of tortures they... I, rather not talk about here. I don't think that's a good, yeah. It was terrible, just terrible. You know, of all the things of the war, of all the things of the war, that's the one thing that will never leave my mind, never forget. In the years following the war, this living example of one of history's greatest accomplishments did what so many veterans did. He returned home to Grand Rapids, raised his family, built his business, gave back to his community. And on this Veterans Day, he worries about the challenges of the future. Well, when you read the newspapers and the television today and you see that all the things like ISIS, uh, you begin to think that we've just got to get a, a form of defense that eliminates these people or eliminates such, such things, you know. Yes, Einstein, if 2014 America could stand up to the challenges faced during World War II, well, he says he believes we could, but predicts it would take an event rivaling 9-11 to rally the country and get everybody together and, and, and try to defeat yeah. these, these, these forces that we did during World War II. He's such a great institution, yeah. a great uh, representative for our community, and still at 102, he's looking for ways to fight the bad guys. Well, it is, and, and it's amazing because so many of these veterans have, have, have died, Best and way. you're starting to lose that, that oral yeah, history. So it's so important that, that men like this step out and, and yeah. tell us what they went it's through. It's fascinating to listen to. Yeah, 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 it really is. It really was. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe.